My name is Andrea Cadigan. Welcome to another episode of This Week on MV. We have a lot in store for you, so let's get right to it. For our restaurant profile, we take you to Oak Bluffs, home of the Ocean View Restaurant, where there's always something special on the menu. Let's dive right in. When you step into the Ocean View Restaurant, it's like coming home. Consistently good food that is affordable and delicious keeps you coming back for more. This is the Ocean View Restaurant in Oak Bluffs, and I have Jen, the general manager, here with me. Jen, tell us a little bit about the history of the Ocean View. Michael Santoro purchased Ocean View from Ron and Peg Jackson, um, who about approximately five years ago, uh, Ron and Peg owned the restaurant for almost 35 years. We are th kind of three restaurants in one, so it's a little bit of something for everyone. Uh, we're open year-round. So you get a lot of locals we throughout do. the year, and then the summer months come. How do yeah. things change once the summer? Our population grows tremendously. Definitely. And in front of me, I see so much lobster. So I'm getting a yeah. theme here. It's a lobster night. You Welcome guys to the island, yeah. have um, lobster nights twice, twice a, week, a week, you were saying. Yes, we do and lobster. And that changed. Yes, we do lobster all year long. Um, we do two nights a week in the summertime to keep up with the demand. Um, we move our lobster night to Mondays and Wednesdays so that we can fit all the bodies in the restaurant. So <laughs> To bring people in. Yes, absolutely. Yep. yep, and then do you know what some of these dishes are in front of us? I see lobster rolls, some oh, of sure. signature lobster on dishes. On our lobster night, um, we put forth, it's a pound and a quarter lobster with corn on the cob, your choice of potato, and comes with clam chowder. And it's a $25 special, it's great. You can also go bake stuffed if you'd like. Um, same thing, and uh, we also have our fresh lobster meat um, with just a touch of mayo, which is our tavern lobster roll, or sautéed with um, with butter. Awesome! Well, yeah. bon appetit! I know. Can't wait I'm to sure try it. You got it. There were so many lobster menu items at the Ocean View that it was difficult for me to decide which one was my favorite. After a great meal like that, I wanted to stay in the area and do something fun. So I headed to MV Ocean Sports in Oak Bluffs and had a great time parasailing and jet skiing. Let's take a look. blistering day on the island can quickly turn into a cool retreat at sea with MV Ocean Sports' dynamic array of water sport activities. From parasailing high above the vineyard sound to skimming across its glassy surface on your very own jet ski, MV Ocean Sports has everything fun for everyone. MV Ocean Sports focuses on fun activities the whole family can participate in, including water skiing, wakeboarding, kneeboarding, and tubing. We're at Martha's Vineyard Ocean Sports in Oak Bluff. Mark, you're the owner. Tell us about some of the water activities you have here. So we have parasailing. We fly kids as young as four. You fly single, tandem, or triple. You go up 600 feet of line. Includes an optional water dip. Uh, we also have flyboarding. Three water ski boats. You can water ski, wakeboard, kneeboard, or go double tubing in the lagoon. We also rent sportsmen's over there. Um, we have two of those and three Boston whalers. Um, we also do banana boat rides and jet ski tours. We do hourly groups of up to six jet skis and then we do a morning tour for two hours that goes Oak Bluff, Egertown, Cape Hogue, Vineyard Haven and back here. It's a two hour ride. Well, it sounds awesome. It's let's get time. on the water. All right, let's do it. Beach Road Weekend on Martha's Vineyard. Tickets on sale now. Featuring John Fogarty, Phil Lesh and Friends, Dispatch, Grace Potter and more. The event of the summer, Beach Road Weekend, August 9th through 11th. Get your tickets now at beachroadweekend.com. Whether you're walking around town, going to the beach, or traveling the rest of the vineyard, the quarter deck on Dock Street in Egertown is the perfect place to grab a snack or meal to go while you and your friends and family create unforgettable memories, all for an affordable price. Conveniently located near the ferry ports in Oak Bluffs and Vineyard Haven, and in downtown Egertown, MV Auto Rental makes it easy to find a comfortable ride at an affordable price. Whether you're looking for some wheels for one day or an extended stay, MV Auto offers a complimentary pickup service at all hotels and inns in Oak Bluffs, Vineyard Haven, and Egertown, as well as from the Martha's Vineyard Airport. Book your reservation online at mvautorental.com or by calling 1-800-627-6333. Thank you. 
stop by the sandbar on the harbor in Oak Bluffs where you can put your feet in the sand with the sun or the stars above you. The island's only beach bar and restaurant offers open air seating with harbor views right in front of you. Pick an entree off the American coastal menu and enjoy one of our famous frozen drinks in or outdoors. Serving lunch and dinner daily with live entertainment, you just can't get the island feel anywhere else. Come see us on the harbor in Oak Bluffs. So you arrive on the island and feel the urge to do some shopping. For some unique items, head to Main Street in Vineyard Haven where you'll find Island Puffin Pass. The store features locally created glass and premium cannabis accessories. Let's see what they have to offer. Located on Main Street in Vineyard Haven, Island Puffin Pass is a one-stop shop for CBD, hemp oils, and products. They carry glassware by local artists, vaporizers, and e-juice along with all kinds of cannabis accessories. We're at Island Puff and Pass in Vineyard Haven. I have Kyle, the owner, here with me. Now, being the only smoke shop on the island, you're so busy all year round. You're open all year round. Yeah. What do you have to offer here? So we have a little bit of something for everybody. All kinds of cannabis accessories from glass, rolling papers, batteries, um, smell reducers, uh, bags for storage, carrying, uh, CBD products. Uh, one of the only places on the island that carries such a wide variety of CBD. And where do you get a lot of your products from? You were telling me a little bit about the glass, and some of these are actually local. Yeah, I get a lot buyers. of glass sourced from local Massachusetts glass blowers. Some notable artists in, in our collection yeah. um, from Bob Snodgrass, Jerry Kelly, um, Jay Hedman, Hedman's Headies. Um, you know, we have some really, really great representations of some artists here. So what are your hours like? So our hours are generally Tuesday through Saturday, 11 to 7, and Sunday and Monday, 11 to 6. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you for having us. Yeah, no problem. Anytime. I'm sure a few of you will be in a mellow mood after visiting Island Puff and Pass, and you may want a serene place to enjoy the beauty that Martha's Vineyard has to offer. I suggest you head to Edgartown and spend some time on South Beach. I guarantee that you will not be disappointed. This is South Beach, also known as Katama Beach, a glorious three mile long stretch of pristine sand and sometimes solitude. Aptly named due to its location along the south side of the island in Katama, South Beach has great surf on one side and a protected salt pond on the other. The beach is open to all and even vehicles with permits are allowed on marked trails on the eastern side known as Norton Point. On your way to South Beach on Katama Road, there's a fork in the road. The left fork leads to the part of the beach that is known for being where mostly families go, while the right fork is more for the young crowd. The fork begins on Katama Road just after Ernie Box Place. You know the one, with the llamas in the yard. But it's basically a giant triangle, so you won't get lost. Just keep following the road, whichever fork you take. This is Emmeline Anderson bringing you this week's Party Up. Right off the ferry, you don't have to walk far to grab a seat at Fishbones right on the harbor. You can sit at the bar and watch the local fishing boats come in with a fresh catch that could make it to your plate before the night is over. Fishbones serves specialty cocktails that are perfect companions for the busy waterfront. Just up the street from Fishbones is Coupe de Ville, which is a local's favorite place to go, especially during sporting events and at sunset. They have a raw bar called Shuck Shack and over 100 beers on tap. A little further down the harbor is the Sandbar and Grill, literally only a stumble away. The Sandbar has an outdoor beach patio and one of the best atmospheres on the island. With sand between your toes and the stars above your head, DJs and live bands play several times a week. Next up on Circuit Ave, on the other side of the street is the Island House, a sports bar restaurant with a cozy porch for outdoor seating before the place completely transforms after dinner hours and becomes a full-on nightclub. Just a hint, Island night on Mondays definitely rocks. The Lookout Tavern is a mandatory stop while you're on the island. It is the only bar and restaurant facing the ocean. Catch a Red Sox game or just relax and take in the stunning sweeping views of the ocean. The Lookout also serves sushi. One of the oldest restaurant bars in Oak Bluffs is the Ocean View. Located on the far side of the Oak Bluffs Harbor on the Hill, the bar has a casual atmosphere and is a great place where locals and visitors mix just as well as the drinks. Catch the sunset on the upstairs deck at the Seafood Shanty, located on the bottom of Dock Street, right on the harbor. 
The huge deck has glass railings so you can take in the beautiful views while enjoying a cocktail on a weekend night, live entertainment, or DJs. The shanty also offers an amazing sushi and raw bar. Just up the street on Main is Wharf Pub. Open year-round, the Wharf is a popular night spot for locals and visitors alike. It features three bars in the summer and easily the most popular dance floor in Edgartown. The Wharf features nightly entertainment, live bands, and DJs every night all summer long. Cheers and enjoy your night out. The fest this year takes place in August at the Strand Theater in Oak Bluffs. My name is Steve Capers. I'm the managing partner of the Martha's Vineyard Comedy Fest. I want to invite you to what we call a great experience as we celebrate African American humor. We have nationally acclaimed comedians that come to Martha's Vineyard every year to perform and turn the island upside down. This is a kind of a treasure that a lot of people need to know about. So buckle up, get ready to laugh, get your popcorn, and it's showtime. Headlining August 5th through August 9th are comedians Mark Gregory, Myra J, and George Wallace. LeVar Walker, Chris Spencer, and Kim Whitley are featured August 12th through August 15th. Closing out the fest from August 19th to August 22nd are Leon Rogers, Mike Bonner, and AJ Bamal. Additional information and ticket information can be found at mvcomedyfest.com. to the island's most flavorful chicken wings and the famous Tuesday Night Lobster Fest. Coupe de Ville has been serving locals and visitors for over 30 years in Oak Bluffs. With the Shuck Shack Raw Bar and over 100 beers on tap, Coupe de Ville is the place where you may arrive as a stranger, but you will leave as a friend. Hello, welcome to Jim's Packing Store. I'm looking for a nice bottle of wine for dinner tonight. Do you have any recommendations? Sure, we have a great selection. Follow me, please. Open seven days a week and located in Oak Bluffs, Jim's Package Store in Island Market is your one-stop shopping location for all your fine wine, beer, spirits, and supplies. Plus, you can gas up too. Can't get to the store? We offer free island-wide delivery. Mikado Asian Bistro on Main Street in Vineyard Haven features a creative assembly of artistic sushi, Chinese, Japanese, Thai, and fusion food that pushes well beyond the standard fare. Serving lunch and dinner with daily specials and a full bar, Mikado has something for everyone, including kids. Mikado, a distinct place that will keep you coming back again and again. Located in the Edgartown Triangle, Trader Fred's is a discount haven for locals and tourists. From fishing bait to boogie boards to bikinis, Fred's has what you need. If you didn't find what you wanted, then you must have missed it. Nothing says summer like Santoro Hospitality Group's restaurant on Martha's Vineyard. And Oak Bluff's Fishbones Bar and Grill overlooks the harbor where you can enjoy a delicious Caribbean-infused meal. The Ocean View Restaurant and Tavern is a local favorite with great food, friendly service, and is open year-round. The Lookout Tavern offers diners unrivaled ocean views with creative cuisine including sushi, sliders, fish tacos, barbecue ribs, and more. When you're looking for the freshest catch of the day, visit the Net Result on Beach Road in Vineyard Haven. Shop at their seafood market or grab a bite to eat at the takeout window. The perfect place for family-friendly fun, Island Cove Adventures on State Road Vineyard Haven is the island's only mini golf course. Play a round of golf, climb the rock wall, then grab lunch at our grill. And don't forget to try some homemade ice cream. Step back in time. The Eggertown Diner at 65 Main Street offers classic, delicious comfort food at affordable prices. Serving breakfast all day, lunch, and dinner. Discover why everyone loves the Eggertown Diner. Welcome back. Right now, we're going to introduce a new feature called Top Picks. This week on MV's Quick Recommendations for some of the best the island has to offer. Let's check it out. For a flavorful sandwich that won't break the bank, head over to Island House on Circuit Avenue in Oak Bluffs for a buffalo chicken sandwich. Juicy chicken breast is breaded and fried and then smothered in a tangy, delicious buffalo sauce. Served on a fluffy, bulky roll with crisp lettuce and pickles, and of course, fries and a blue cheese sauce for you to drizzle all over. For $9.99, it's probably the best deal in all of Oak Bluffs. Sit along the high tables looking out over the Oak Bluffs Harbor and feel the breeze as you feast on a juicy burger topped with melted cheddar cheese and bacon that delivers a perfect complement to its bovine partner. 
with sliced onion, a chunk of fresh tomato, and crunchy lettuce. All of that in between warm toasted buns. Only $11 for the classic or $13 for the deluxe burger. The one comfort food that dessert lovers go for in warm weather is ice cream. Some days call for more than your typical cone or cup. Picture a mountain of hot fudge layered in between vanilla ice cream with creamy whipped cream and a cherry on top. We are talking about a classic sundae at the Edgartown Diner. A visual feast as sweet as it looks. The fudge is rich, the ice cream smooth, the whipped cream light and airy, and the cherry sweet. All that's left behind when you devour this diner favorite is the empty sundae glass. Enjoy! I don't know about you, but those picks looked great. So as your day on the island winds down, you may want to find a nice place to eat a great dinner. When it comes to dining, there's always some fantastic choices available. If you're in the mood for authentic Italian food, then check out Isola in Edgartown. I recently had a chat with their head chef about the sumptuous dishes they have to offer. Nicolai Sulo, the son of owner Peter Sulo, is the head chef at Isola. Together with his father, his brother Anthony, and his sister Gabrielle, Nikolai runs the Edgartown restaurant that produces the most amazing Italian dishes you have ever tasted. This is Isola in Edgartown, and I have Nikolai, the head chef, here with me. How long have you been working at this restaurant? Uh, we opened six years ago, so from the beginning. Um, family owned. Family owned uh, with my brother, my sister, and my father. And now, the dishes in front of us, there's such a wide variety. We've got the scallops, meatballs, and then a vegetarian dish. Um, the vegetarian dish, we'll start with that. It's actually vegan. vegan. Uh, my, my sister's vegan. She's actually inspired me to step up the box. And then we have the spaghetti meatballs, which is just a classic go-to dish. Um, and the scallop dish is, uh, that's one of my favorites actually on the menu. And the presentation is beautiful. Since you guys are seasonal, do you have different dishes that come and go? So I try to keep it, um, the menu changing a little bit this season. We have a lot of farms in the island, so I try to check out the farms, see what's in season, you know. Um, and for seafood, you know, there's a lot of different seasons. Striped bass will be on the menu soon because that'll be in season. Uh, black sea bass, fluke. Mm -hmm. And you have specials uh, throughout the week? Usually it's a weekly, maybe maybe a couple days. I just run it until maybe if it's more popular than others, and I'll run it for longer. Sounds great. Well, those spaghetti and meatballs are calling my name, so I'm about to head into there. Get Thank in you there. so much for having us. You're very welcome. My mouth is still watering looking at those entrees once again. If you're on the island with kids in tow, or you just want to satisfy your inner child, there's no better place to be than Ryan Family Amusements and Oak Bluffs. They have all the latest games and activities for all ages. Let's go in and have some fun. Welcome back to the Kids Corner. We're here at the Ryan's Family Amusement Park, otherwise known as the Game Room, with my new friend, Andrea. Are you ready to play some games? I'm ready. Are you ready? Yeah, what's your favorite game? My favorite game is probably the Squishy Game. The Squishy Game? I like Pac-Man. Let's go play. Okay. Known to the locals as the Game Room, Ryan Entertainment is located on Circuit Ave at Oak Bluffs. They feature over 75 of the hottest and newest games of skill and chance. There's something for everyone to play while you build points and win prizes. So much fun with the girls. I can't wait to go back. If you want to end your night with a refreshing drink, you want to make sure there's an experienced mixologist behind the bar. One of the best hot spots on the island is the wharf in Edgartown, where I caught up with Jade. Let's see what she's mixing. located in the heart of downtown Edgartown, is a coveted spot to sit and enjoy wonderful food and libations. Whether you lean towards a cold beer on tap or a specialty cocktail, Jade always serves it with a smile. I'm here with Jade, the bartender at the Wharf in Edgartown. Tell me, Jade, how long have you been bartending and where are you from? I'm from here. I grew up in Vineyard Haven and I've been bartending for 22 years. And in front of me we have the Wharf Punch. Tell me about some of your favorite drinks to make. 
Well, the locals really like something we call a snow cone, and that's orange vodka chilled with some Red Bull and a splash of Sprite. You take it as a shot. And um, this is a good one. I make it to order, and my friends call it the Jade Special. Now, during the summer months, have you served any celebrities that have been in here? We have. Meg Ryan comes in because she lives over on Chappie with John Cougar, uh, actors and famous sports figures as well. Awesome. Well, thank you for chatting with me. Yeah, thank you. On July 18th, Juliet Kayyem will be the featured speaker at Martha's Vineyard Hebrew Center. Kayyem serves as the national security analyst for CNN and hosts a regular podcast for WGBH, Boston's NPR station. She's a trial lawyer and founder of Kayyem Solutions, which provides strategic advice in technology, risk management, and cybersecurity. Kayyem was President Obama's Assistant Secretary for Intergovernmental Affairs at the Department of Homeland Security. This event starts at 7.30 p.m. Tickets are $25 and can be purchased through ticketsmv.com. Opening Friday, July 19th at 7.30 at the Performing Arts Center and celebrating their 51st year, Island Theatre Workshop presents Once Upon a Mattress. If you thought you knew the story of the Princess and the Pea, you're in for quite the surprise. Carried on a wave of beguiling songs that turns hilarious and ruckus, romantic and melodic, this rollicking spin on the familiar classic of royal courtship and comeuppance provides for some side-splitting shenanigans. Chances are you'll never look at fairy tales quite the same way again. Get your tickets online at Tickets and Coming up on Saturday, July 20th at 5.30 p.m., join an evening of art and celebration at Featherstone's annual gala. Enjoy artwork, cocktails, appetizers, dinner, and silent live auctions on the grounds outside of the art barn. Proceeds from this event support year-round programming and community outreach. Join in advancing the Featherstone's artistic mission and supporting the arts and artists on Martha's Vineyard. We're standing here at the Performing Arts Center, where coming up, we're going to have some incredible artists coming as a part of the Martha's Vineyard Summer Concert Series. At 8 p.m. on Tuesday, July 23rd, at Egertown's Old Whaling Church, Bella Fleck and Abigail Washburn, dubbed the king and queen of the banjo, will take the stage. The duo have an unparalleled musical partnership. Bella Fleck is a 15-time Grammy Award winner who has taken the instrument across multiple genres. Abigail Washburn, a singer-songwriter and clawhammer banjo player, has re-radicalized the banjo by melding it with Far East culture and sounds. What could be better than a magnificent musical duo? A trio called I'm With Her. On Wednesday, July 25th at the Old Whaling Church, three celebrated female songwriters perform at 8 p.m. Since forming in 2014, the trio have infused their songs with detailed lyricism, elegant musicianship, and haunting harmonies laced with echoes of extraordinary chemistry. There is no better place to take in the sweeping views of Edgar Town Harbor while enjoying fresh local seafood and cold drinks than the seafood shanty on Dock Street. With views from, well, any seat in the restaurant, everyone gets a water view. Whether resting in the air-conditioned dining room on the first floor or in the open air upstairs on the island's largest deck, this is the place where you realize you have everything you came to Martha's Vineyard for. The seafood shanty is where the seafood and the view of the sea meet. Open daily for lunch and dinner and nightlife entertainment. Dockside Jewelers at the Dockside Marketplace in Oak Bluffs has as much sparkle as the vineyard water on a perfect summer day, offering a wide variety of handcrafted vineyard charms, bracelets, necklaces, and more. Step into history at the Wharf Pub on Main Street in Edgartown, serving lunch and dinner daily in an authentic whaling era restaurant and nightly live entertainment. Enjoy a feast fit for a captain at the Wharf Pub. Located at the bottom of Main Street in Edgartown, Whatever Sterling Silver offers a fine collection of handmade, solid sterling silver jewelry selected by the store owners for their unique and beautiful designs. Discover exquisitely crafted fine silver jewelry at Whatever Sterling Silver. 
Pacific sea bass catch this year has been outstanding compared to previous years. Big scup and sea bass are caught all around the island. Striped bass uh, are coming very nicely. A lot of small ones around the island, but we're getting some big 20, 30 pounders coming out of West Chop right now. Halfway Rip, uh, or known as Middle Rip off of uh, Falmouth, is producing some keeper bass as well. Blue Fisher coming in on Waski and uh, a couple off of uh, the Bluffs and Chappaquiddick. Some flounder coming in, a few have been reported out in some of the deeper water, uh, the 100 foot hole and a couple other spots off of McConaughey. As we say here in the fishing world, fish on and enjoy the day. When you're on the island and are pressed for time, there are plenty of options to grab a meal. In this episode's Quick Bites, we visit Tony's Market. Let's go inside and see what's on the menu. Tony's Market in Oak Bluffs is more than a staple. The market has the comfort of being at home and the variety of a vacation all wrapped into one storefront. This is Tony's Market in Oak Bluffs and I'm with Kelly, the general manager. Now when I walked into this store, I see groceries, prepared meals, hot sandwiches. Right. What's in this place? Everything you could want and then some. We're always trying to bring in whatever the customers are looking for. We have hot meals, a lot of uh, salads and prepared foods every day. And it's to my yeah. knowledge that this is the only market that sells produce, beer and wine beer on the wine. island. Yep, you can get a little bit of everything. Uh, full convenience store, but we have a full grocery line of foods, and then the deli is a nice bonus coffee bar. How long has this been around? Well, originally 1877. Long and time. And um, Dave and Alan Richardson are the owners, and they turned it all around, purchased it in 1992, and uh, been going strong since then. Yeah, 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 and now throughout the whole year you're open. Mm -hmm. What are the hours Every like? Day. We're open every day except Christmas. We're 6.30 in the morning to uh, 9 in the evening right now and 10 in the summer. Wow, well, yeah. this looks great. Yeah, Gotta thanks. go around and check some more. Oh, yeah, anything you want. We're here. We've got it for you. What a great place. While we were visiting, there was a constant stream of people coming in for sandwiches. After grabbing a sandwich, you may want to head to a ball game. If so, the MV Sharks have plenty of home games scheduled at the Shark Tank in Oak Bluffs. Mm -hmm. We're here at the Shark Tank getting ready to watch the MV Sharks play the Danbury Westerners. I have Russ, the general manager here with me. Tell me a little bit about the league and your players. Well, we get players from all over the country uh, as far as California, Washington. They come out here and they spend the summer with us. We find them host families, which is the most difficult object for us to try and find as host families. Some guys work all summer, but they're elite baseball players looking to make the next step to the, you know, pro baseball. So when does the league start and when does it finish? This year it started June 5th was our opening night. Our last scheduled home game is August 1st. Awesome. Well, good luck. Thank you. I'm here with Brett Marshall, a pitcher for the MV Sharks. Brett, tell us a little bit about your career with baseball. When did you start and where are you now? I started playing when I was about five or six years old um, out in the backyard and then played and up through high school and then got recruited by Kentucky. And are you a junior this year? Yeah, I'm going to be a junior pitcher. And how you been doing so far? I've been doing pretty well. Looking to improve every single start. So Awesome. Well, good luck out there tonight. Thank you. Appreciate it. I've got Josh Spiegel here with me, a catcher for the MV Sharks. Josh, tell us a little bit about baseball. When did you start? How did you get here? Uh, I started when I was about five years old. I've um, been playing ever since. Uh, I just finished my freshman year, so it's been a good experience. And where are you originally from? I'm from about so uh, 15 minutes southeast of Pittsburgh. And how has it been looking this season? Good, good. I think we have a really good team, and uh, I think we're going to do really well. well. Awesome. Good luck with the rest of your career. Thank you. Well, that wraps it up for this episode of This Week on MB. We'll be back soon with a lot more fun and exciting things to do on Martha's Vineyard. Stay tuned.